And Grant, the teams we'll see tonight have some strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday. And you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. It really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Alex Caruso is out there with Kobe White. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. And it's Levine in at the three, the small forward. Now here's White. Pass to Levine. Levine with a screen on Beasley. DeRozan against Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. And here's Lillard. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And that's unselfishness right there. Full display. Giannis wanting to get it to open teammates. Outside Levine. Levine with a screen on Beasley. DeRozan outside. Outside Levine. Clock at six. Vucevic a screen on Middleton. Here's Levine for three. Rebound Milwaukee. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. Yeah, sloppy play sabotage. I mean, they'll have to be much more focused this time around. Now here's Beasley. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. And Lillard gets it to go. Inside, Lillard can deliver. He's a skilled finisher. And it's Caruso with the ball for the Bulls. Seven-point differential. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. That game could have been a lot closer than it was, but they were just too sharp down the stretch. Yeah, I thought they did a great job closing the door and keeping it out of reach at the end. Beasley against Caruso. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Caruso. Anadokounmpo finds Middleton. On the take. Back to Anadokounmpo. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. Well, Clark, with his mix of power and length, at times Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan. But Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. That one misses for Anadokounmpo. And when it comes to Giannis Anadokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor, Clark. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously. And he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. And so it's Milwaukee with it, following the bucket by the Bulls. Pass to Lillard. And there's the foul. It's on Kobe White. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Bochamp, he's checked in for the Bucks. Inside. Let's it go. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist from Anadokounmpo. Five straight buckets to start the game. Off to a hot start. DeRozan deciding where to go with it. Pass to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Over Middleton. Shot by Levine. No good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Middleton outside. DeRozan against Anadokounmpo. It's hauled in by the Bulls. On the wing, Levine. Pass to DeRozan. 
Caruso outside for three. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan so in tune with his teammates. Knew exactly where to find that open man. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Out to the wing. Lillard finds Lopez. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. Really hard to get to the shot of Lopez, especially with his reach. And the first one at the line is good. In terms of players who've kept evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about Brooke Lopez? Well, Grant, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. The Bucks making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. And Lopez drops them both. All right, Grant, as a team, how long do you think it takes to figure out if you're a legitimate contender? You know, B.A., a lot of teams come into the season thinking they are contenders. And they have to find out the hard way that, quite honestly, they're just not. But generally, I'd say you have a good idea after the first month or so of the year. Lillard against Carter. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo is doubled. For three, here's Lillard. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got three assists in the game. Dasumu, the pass to DeRozan. Drummond, the screen on Connaughton. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him, man. A terrific rejection as well. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Middleton comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Payne is subbed in for Damian Lillard. Williams is checked in for Chicago. Zach Levine comes in for DeSumo. Now here's Carter. 11 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Craig against Connaughton. Middleton looking around. Portis against Drummond. Got it. This is Portis in his comfort zone, scoring deep inside. The Bulls have gone four of eight and looking in control. Outside Levine. And again, Chicago no good. Milwaukee has gone two of two at the perimeter. On the wing, Connaughton. Pass to Portis. Oh, Drummond with the block. How about that swat by Drummond? Using all of his height and bounce to deny the offense there. Here's Levine for three. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Bucks on top, up by nine. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And I just love playing on teams like this. 
passing teams. You can tell they really like playing with each other, and hopefully they keep this up. Chris Middleton is out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's Campaign. Then there's Pat Connaughton. And it's Bochamp in a two-guard. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo says his greatest challenge lies within. He said, quote, I don't compete with others. I just compete with myself. Every other night, it's going to be another great player, but I just try to be consistent, have fun, enjoy the game, create art, and be the best I can be. Artistry. I like it, Allie. Thank you. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what, Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps, and these guys are well molded together. Now here's Payne. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Carter. Still no points. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Williams against Middleton. Outside Payne. Connaughton with a screen on Levine. Shot from 12. The shot by Payne. No good. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Trailing by 10. Pass to Drummond. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. You know, this is where you want to get Drummond the ball. The closer he is, the more effective he becomes. Here's Middleton. Just five on the clock. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. That free throw good from Middleton. Middleton is most known, quite honestly, for his scoring ability. He's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with. Now here's Craig. He's coming off a 10-point game against Milwaukee. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. Here's Levine. They trail by 11. Williams from long range. Rebound by Middleton. Milwaukee has gone three of four from distance in this game. Back to Ana de Kumpo. Beasley against White. The three. Portis for three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Craig passes to Levine. From downtown. And the tough three sent through by Levine. And now look here, guys. I mean, Levine is a tough assignment. Don't make any mistakes about that. He's about 6'5 and has tremendous explosion off the floor. Portis finds Beasley. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Chicago has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Craig. Outside White. Back to Craig. Williams on the wing. White for three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Milwaukee in the lead. And there's the screen from behind the arc. And again, it's the Bucks missing. The Bulls have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Beasley against White. 
Now here's Craig. The D's right on him. Misses the layup. The Bucks have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Oh, the strength of Giannis. Amazing to watch Antetokounmpo will these shots in. Refusing to concede to the defense. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Damian Lillard comes in for Bochamp. DeRozan is checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for Zach Levine. Chicago has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Vucevic. DeRozan up top. Caruso outside. To the right side. Five on the clock. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Here's Caruso. Can't get it to drop. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Connaughton left side. He's going for the lob, and he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there, and Chicago gets called for the foul. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Antetokounmpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. First one falls. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit. Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. Brooke Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Connaughton. So Honor to Kumpo nails both of them. And 101 left in the first half of this one. DeRozan against Middleton. DeRozan outside. And the shot goes in. DeRozan's got six. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Vucevic. On the wing to Rosen. Now here's Vucevic. Covered by Lopez. From eight feet away. Good work defensively by Lopez. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. On to Kumpo for three. That shot is off. 
And so it's Milwaukee earning this break in the action up 10. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Good to see you, and welcome. A lopsided game through two quarters and a big deficit for the Chicago Bulls. The free throw margin is very telling. One team is playing aggressively, getting to the line, and the other one just isn't. You have to be willing to play through the contact in this league. And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. They're staring at a rough road ahead. They're kind, they can break you down. But this is what separates good from great. The way you take on obstacles in your path. Mm. To be formidable, to ultimately win a chip, you have to be good away from home. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. And so in the game for the Bulls, they've got DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is out there with Kobe White. Then there's Nikola Vucevic, and it's Levine in a small forward. White, the pass to Levine. At the arc, Zach Levine. Look at the quickness from Levine. Saw the defender closing in and still got the shot away. And here is Ana Kumpo. Three-pointer. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean... He wanted to go back at him and just came up short on the triple. Back to Levine. Over Middleton. Levine can't hit. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. It's Beasley on the wing. He's guarded by Caruso. Ana Kumpo looking it over. He was all alone on that one. Ana Kumpo's got 11. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's White, still without a bucket. DeRozan, left side, over on to Kumpo. And DeRozan gets it to go. DeRozan loves the mid-range. That's his spot, and with good reason. On to Kumpo against DeRozan. Beasley, the pass to Lillard, fires from deep. Lillard, what'd you expect? And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Vucevic finds White. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And so it's on Kumpo with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. They host the Hawks after this one. Beasley, the pass to Middleton. Back to Beasley. To the inside. Here's Lillard. Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. The Bulls have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Vucevic, a screen on Anadokounmpo. Plenty of daylight on that shot. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. He's shooting well. Doing his best to keep this offense in gear but he hasn't had a lot of support. Beasley, the pass to Lopez. Now Lillard. Pass to Anadokounmpo. From the line, Caruso grabs the board. 
The Bulls have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Here's Vucevic. Oh. And the power finished by Vucevic. All the reach you need to throw it down there. Vucevic making it look easy. Out of the Kumpo against DeRozan. And the foul on Alex Caruso. That's foul number two for him. And the Bucks making a change here. Bochamps checked in. And the Bulls also making a change. Craig's checked in. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. It's tipped. Vucevic with a steal. Here's Levine. Oh, no way! Levine! My goodness! Well, we know Levine has the hops. That time showing off the creativity. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Milwaukee has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Over White. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got 14 points for the game. The Bulls have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Lillard against White. DeRozan outside. Six to shoot. Craig with a screen on Middleton. Here's DeRozan. Ooh, DeRozan nails a contested shot. Well, DeRozan really has a gift for scoring. Buckets just seem to find him. Here's Bochamp. He's covered by Levine. Pass to Lopez. Lillard with the ball. And it's cleared by Vucevic. 119 left to play in the third quarter. Outside White. Now here's Vucevic. Levine finds DeRozan. To the middle. Lopez with the steal. Here's Bochamp. He's covered by Levine. Tipped away. The open shot. White. Yes. Great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. You know, overall, their shot selection much better here in the second half. Uh, we'll see if that's the case for the rest of the game, if they can keep that up. Now here's Lopez. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Here's Anadokounmpo. Count it. Anadokounmpo's gotten four this quarter. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Here's DeRozan. Outside White. Pass to Craig. Back to White. On the wing, DeRozan. Over on to Kumpo. And Chicago again with a bucket. DeRozan showing no panic whatsoever. Shot clock almost down, but nothing but cool head and composure from him. Lana Kumpo outside. Let's it fly. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. Back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Giannis and Portis work together inside. 
Cameron Payne out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Connaughton in at the three. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Fantastic ball movement that time. Onto the Kumpo, skilled at taking apart a defense with his passing. Now here's Drummond. Kumpo grabs the board. Kumpo's got seven rebounds in the game. Down low. Well, Clark, we know what Bobby Portis brings to the table. He loves the ball. Yeah, he does, and he does it with a smile, with great passion and energy, and we do know that he'll give you double-digit points, and he'll stretch the floor with his three-point shooting. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bucs. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this shooting game, no two. doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And they've also been in the zone with the mid-range jumper. The defense has given them space, and they haven't hesitated to rise and fire. That free throw good from Portis. A most valuable role player on this team. Portis's ability to stretch the floor with his shooting, huge. So after making the first, he goes one for two. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Carter against Payne. Carter, the pass to Drummond. The Bulls need to get off a shot. And that's a foul called on Pat Connaughton. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's Levine. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Levine showing you good effort that time, not allowing the foul to stop him from getting the shot off. free throw good from Levine you know when you think of Zach Levine his scoring comes to mind immediately but he also rebounds effectively and passes it pretty good too white he's checked in for Chicago both free throws good from Levine free throw shooting is about mechanics confidence and your mental approach he's locked in from there most every night Portis with a screen on white Pass to Anadokounmpo. Beasley outside. From outside the arc. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Beasley's gotten himself on the board with a three there. And here's Drummond. Now Levine. Williams on the wing. Here's White. Shot clock at six. The shot that time, not on target. Excellent D there from Payne. Anadokounmpo outside. Anadokounmpo drives in. Good. Now 7 for 11 on the night. On the drive, Giannis just did. His stride and his strength make him hard to handle once he gets going. White for 3. Knocks down the long J. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Pass to Portis. Outside Payne. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Portis with a screen on Levine. Here's Payne. Rebound by the Bulls. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Pass to Williams. On to Kupo with the block. To reach the athleticism, the timing, no surprise. Giannis swatted that one away. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. 
Middleton comes in for Connaughton and Damian Lillard subbed in for Payne and a change for the Bulls Carter he's checked in for Craig timeout called the Bulls Chicago making some changes. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Drummond. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Williams. And it's Caruso in for Carter. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey guys, Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He ripped into their perimeter game and their energy level, saying to his guys, you're just running through the motions out there. There's no hustle or desire to chase them off the three-point line or to try to get open looks from deep on the other end. Guys? And Ali, thank you for that. Just five to shoot. Vucevic, a screen on Beasley. And here's Caruso outside. Sinks the tray. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And the Bucks hit again from deep. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. DeRozan against Hunter DeCumpo. From 12 feet. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. DeRozan is deceptive in his height and quickness, so it can make him hard to guard, especially from this area. good on that one. Yeah, numbers from the free throw line for DeRozan have only improved as his career has gone on. And the second free throw is good. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Lillard. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Kobe White picks one up. And I'll tell you, that was some smart basketball from Lillard right there. I mean, understanding how to put pressure on the D to get these calls. Shooting two. First free throw is good. It's amazing to come to the arena every night just to see what Lillard's going to do. And both free throws good for Lillard. Here's Levine trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Outside White. Launches a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Anacupo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Beasley, the pass to Middleton. Anacupo for three. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Levine with a screen on Beasley. Caruso outside. Here's the three. Connects from downtown. They're going at 
at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. DeRozan against Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo with the block. Now here's Lillard. He's guarded by White. Pass to Middleton. Over DeRozan. And that one's good. Middleton. And now a 12-point Bucks lead. I know how unflappable Middleton is. Receiving the contact on the way up and not bothered at all. On the wing, DeRozan. On to Kumpo covering. Six to shoot. Fires for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Got to keep the defense honest. DeRozan normally only shoots threes if he's got a clean look. White against Lillard. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Now here's White. Three-pointer off the mark. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Beasley. Back to Middleton. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Lillard with the ball. He's guarded by White. Double team on Lillard. Here's Lopez. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Vucevic's shot is off. So this one belongs to the Bucks. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Dame, you routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it, you know. So I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots, uh, crazy passes, and, you know, you don't make a high percentage of them, uh, but I made one tonight. Practice makes perfect. Thanks so much, Dame. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.